Today is Monday, January 27th. And here's the word. Starting us out this week, Hoof and Horn premiered their winter production of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee this past weekend on January 23rd. Audience members joined the young spellers of Putnam County as they vied to take the trophy and go to the National Spelling Bee. Audience members that arrived early signed up and were given the opportunity to participate in the show by competing in the bee. If you missed this past weekend's shows, don't worry because the last shows are this week from Thursday through Sunday. This past week, General Martin E. Dempsey, Chairman of Joint Chief of Staff and Duke Alumni Association alumnus, was announced as this year's commencement address speaker for graduation on Sunday, May 11th. Dempsey is the nation's highest ranking military officer and the primary military advisor to President Obama, the Secretary of Defense, and the National Security Council. Dempsey earned a master's degree in English from Duke. We can't wait to hear him speak. This week marks the beginning of Ally Week 2014. The Center for Sexual and Gender Diversity at Duke will host events each day to educate students on LGBT issues and build a greater community. This week focuses on appreciating the diverse LGBT and ally community at Duke and features events such as Ally Appreciation Day, Ally Training, and a lunch discussion about being an ally to the LGBT community. Next weekend, Out of the Blue will host the ICCA South Quarterfinals on February 1st in Page Auditorium. The event showcases nine of the best collegiate a cappella groups in the South, including Duke's very own Rhythm and Blue. The top two groups go on to compete in the semifinal round. The show begins at 7 p.m. and will also feature performances by the Pitchforks and Out of the Blue. Don't miss your favorite Duke groups perform and get your tickets now. Finally, a huge congratulations to Coach Mike Krzyzewski. The Blue Devils' win on Saturday against Florida State marked another milestone for the legendary coach. Duke beat the Seminoles 78-56 to to give Krzyzewski his 900th win at the school. Congratulations again, Coach K. And that's all we have for this week. Check back on DukeStudentBroadcasting.com for the latest Duke news. And see you next week.